So um, that was where our TV room was, and of course we watched a ton of movies and TV in that room. And if I was looking for something to watch that would make me happy, I'd pop in a particular VHS, and the first thing you see are all these hills and mountains, and then there's this valley, and then in the middle of that valley is a tiny little black speck off in the distance. You get closer and closer, and Julie Andrews comes onto the screen, and she sings. Way cooler than she ever was. 
In every job that must be done, there is an element of fun. You find the fun and snap the jobs again. In every task you undertake becomes a piece of cake. A laugh, a scream, it's very clear to see. Let us spoonful the sugar and sing go down. Some better sing go down. One better sing go down. Just a spoonful of sugar. movies growing up, but at four or five, I had made the connection that Mary Poppins and Fräulein Maria were the same person. And if you had tried to argue and convince me otherwise, I would have physically fought you on this regard. And I would have told you, one is a brunette, one is blonde, clearly they're not the same person. Hair was never my strong suit, even then. <laughs> maybe, not the most, maybe not the brightest of children, but my parents, of course, were looking out for me. They were looking out for me, making sure that their children were educated and cultured, and including my mom. My mom's a history teacher in high school, and she would, of course, impart um, things that were going on in her class to us. And I remember one day, we were watching the Bratlo channel, as you do, and there was a movie of great historical significance, and it's it's fascinating the things that you gravitate towards, even at that age. Matchmaker, matchmaker, make me a match. Find me a fine, catch me a catch. Watchmaker, matchmaker, open your book and make me a perfect match. For I didn't understand why Teddy Hill and his daughters married who they wanted. And I didn't understand the end of the movie. And I remember asking my mom, why does everyone have to leave Anna Tevka at the end of the movie? And my mom thought about it for a moment. And she told me, well, Kevin, you remember that movie about the little mouse, Bible and his family? Well, just like Teddy, they too did not feel safe in their own home. And just like Teddy, they too the boat to America to start a brand new life. My mom's way of contextualizing Fiddler on the Roof came from a very simple phrase, and I hope you all know it. In America, there are no cats. <laughs> Somewhere out there beneath the pale moonlight someone's thinking of me and love me Thank you. 
kind of compass I only ever guessed at. Every single day, I walk down the street. I hear people say, baby, be so sweet. Ever since puberty, everybody stares at me, boys, girls, I can't help it, baby. Some people think I don't mind, just remember that I'm And if I follow my dreams, my dreams will come true, right? 